Welcome back to the Lights Out Podcast, bedtime stories for boys and girls around the world. Good evening, boys and girls. Are you ready for bed? Are you all snuggled up and ready for another Lights Out bedtime story? Good, because you're in for a treat tonight. That's right. In tribute to the creator of Little Miss Books and Mr. Men Books, Roger Hargreaves, we have a series of 24 stories in 24 hours to make sure that wherever in the world you are, whatever time you go to bed, you have a Mr. Men book to listen to tonight. Book 20 of 24, Mr. Chatterbox by Roger Hargreaves. Mr. Chatterbox was one of those people who simply couldn't stop talking. He used to talk to anybody and everybody about anything and everything going on and on and on. And on and on and on. And on and on and on. And when he didn't have anybody else to talk to, he used to talk to himself. Good morning, Mr. Chatterbox. He used to say to himself, Good morning to you. He used to reply to himself, Nice day, isn't it? Yes, it is, for this time of year. And so on, and so on, and on and on. He lived in a box-shaped house in a village called Chatterbox Cottage. One morning, the postman arrived with a letter for him. Good morning, Mr. Chatterbox, said the postman. Ah, good morning to you, postman replied Chatterbox. Although, as, as I was saying to myself only yesterday, or was it the day before? I forget. However, it's not quite so good a morning, in my opinion, but I might be wrong. Although, I'm not very often, as it was the other day, Monday I think it was, or perhaps it was Tuesday, but never mind, because it's quite a good morning. Don't you think? Don't you agree? Yes, of course you do, because that's what you said to me the, in the first place. And, and he went on and on all morning and the poor postman was late delivering all his letters. That afternoon, Mr. Chatterbox went into the hat shop in the village. Hello, Mr. Baller, he said to the man who owned the hat shop. Do you think if it's possible that I could buy, if it's not too expensive, but I'm, I'm sure it won't be, a new hat because, would you believe it? Yes, of course you would, but anyway... As I was saying, my present hat, the one on my head, as you can see, is getting, how how can I put it, a little too old because I've had it for, let me see, mm, it must be, let me think, 10 years, no, I, t- I tell a lie, uh, it can't be that, it can't be that long, or can it? Well, yes it could be, but on the other hand, and he went on and on all afternoon and half the night, long past Mr. Poor Baller should have shut up the shop and gone home. Eventually, when Mr. Baller managed to get a word in edgeways, or was it sideways? He promised to order a new hat for Mr. Chatterbox. Then he pushed Mr. Chatterbox out of his shop, still talking of course, and went home for his supper, which was cold of course, because Mrs. Bowler had cooked it for him hours ago. And while he ate, he thought. Exactly one week later, and the new hat for Mr. Chatterbox arrived in a small red hat box. The postman delivered it to Mr. Bowler's shop. At last, said Mr. Bowler, heaving a sigh of relief, I think this hat is going to be the answer to the problem of Mr. Chatterbox talking so much. I wish it could be, said the postman, but how can it? Because, replied Mr. Bowler, this hat is a magic hat. Oh, replied the postman, who didn't quite understand. That same afternoon, Mr. Baller took the new hat round to Chatterbox Cottage. Oh, goody, said Mr. Chatterbox, seizing the hat box and opening it. It's my new hat, my lovely new hat. I couldn't wait for it to arrive. In fact, I got up early this morning because, aren't I silly? I just, I just knew it. I don't know how, but I really knew, you know, that today would be the day. I don't know how I knew, but I knew, and it is, and it's here my hat. Oh, and isn't it beautiful? I can't wait to try it on. Oh, I do hope it suits me. Do you think it will? Yes, of course you do. And why don't you try it on? Said Mr. Bowler, grinning. Try it on? Yes, of course. I must try it on. Oh, how silly of me to stand here chattering when I haven't even tried it on yet. Yes, I will absolutely definitely try it on straight away because, as I said, 
Isn't it silly just to talk about trying it on and then not to try it on, isn't it? And so, he took the hat out of the hat box and put it on. It was a beautiful hat. I say, he said, I must say, yes, I really must, that this hat is, is, yes, it really is, is, to say the least, one of the better hats that I have ever seen in my life. And in my life, I must say, I've seen some hats. And furthermore, but while he was talking, a funny thing was happening. The more words that came out of Mr. Chatterbox's mouth, the larger his hat became. The more Mr. Chatterbox talked, the more the hat grew and grew. Mr. Chatterbox kept on talking and the hat kept on growing. Oh, I can't see anything, he said. One minute I was standing here looking at my new hat in the mirror and now, all of a sudden, without any warning, taking me all unawares, just like that. The hat grew down to its feet and Mr. Chatterbox stopped talking. And as soon as he stopped talking, the hat grew smaller and smaller until it was the same size as when he'd first tried it on. Mr. Baller had gone when Mr. Chatterbox couldn't see him. And now he was walking back to his shop. My special magic hat really works, he chuckled. The following day, Mr. Chatterbox was out for a walk when he met the postman in the village. Hello, postman, he said. I say, do you like my new hat? Have you ever seen such a fine hat? I'm sure you never have. What a hat and... But you know what was happening, don't you? The hat grew and grew and grew the more Mr. Chatterbox talked. Now I know what Mr. Baller meant by a magic hat, chuckled the postman. And he went on his way, leaving poor Mr. Chatterbox speechless. Hmm, he thought, thinking, not talking, thinking. And do you know something? That hat taught Mr. Chatterbox his lesson. And these days he doesn't talk half as much as he used to, or even a quarter as much. And you know the reason for that, don't you? Yes, of course you do, but keep it under your hat. The End of Mr. Chatterbox by Roger Hargreaves Here on the Light Out Podcast Bedtime stories for boys and girls around the world And Chatterboxes Good night